All right. I think we're on. <laughs> hey, Becca, how, how you doing? Hey, Mia, I'm good. How are you? Good. Take two of our Take two. to create this video. <laughs> Things happen. Things happen. It's life. So you went you know? riding yesterday, huh? I did go riding yesterday. I had a great time. It was hot. It was hot, man. It was a good time. We're in the East Coast. It's starting yeah, to get cold East over Coast. Here in California. No, well, what's cold to you? Hmm. Well, well that's we a could very be, that's, a, that's another <laughs> that's another conversation. It's very subjective, right? Because what I think is cold, you think it's like a summer day. Yeah. Yes, but it was hot. I think everyone was kind of getting into that fall mentality, and it was not. It was not. <laughs> but it was a good time. <laughs> it so was today, um, for anyone listening, we are going to uh, be talking about the types of shorts that Becca and I wear and pants while we're riding. We're going to talk about um, what terrain, like what type of trails we use these shorts or pants on, um, what fits, what doesn't, what we want to look, what we're looking forward to trying out in the future, and um, we'll go from there. What's so, the first thing you would recommend people do? I think the first thing people. Pants? I think it would be to think about what your intended use for those pants is. So what type yeah. of riding style are you wanting to utilize um, this this these, this clothing for? So for me, I've been riding a lot of downhill this season. So I'm trying to find pants that would be appropriate to wear on my body type, but in a downhill style terrain. Um, yeah, because yeah. that's going to be a completely different type of clothing than what I would yeah. want for my local trails. Um, so I think first is to kind of know like what you're looking for. Is it something that's really durable, something that um, is really good in the heat, something that's yeah. really flexible, or you're looking for shorts, pants. So kind of dialing yeah. it in exactly what type of riding you want them for um, yeah. can really help like kind of how you want to navigate it. Yes. yes. Yeah. Sorry to mean interrupt you. Like, like mm -hmm. a lighter material for different types of riding, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Because every time you, you know, you go to a thinner, more lightweight material, then you're sacrificing durability. So it kind of depends on like, what's your intended use for them? I think that's yeah, a good way to start. You know, I learned that the hard way, which we'll, I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, to kind of start <laughs> off though, yeah, you know, my yeah. pants shred very easily. <laughs> Um, so, cactuses, cactuses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just, to start off with, I just really want to preface the fact that we are not sponsored by any of these companies. We nope. didn't get sent any of these clothes where it's purely nope. our own experiences with each one of them. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're doing this to, to try and help women who are looking to buy clothes, whether you're a seasoned rider or just getting into mountain biking, this is not a harsh critique of anyone, or it's just literally our opinion and how we feel about the brand. And the ones we're looking forward to getting. I want to get my hands on those dark gray pants so bad. Okay, we'll get into that. Oh, I know the uh, color. The yeah, color. I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But to start off with, I am your typical uh, Latina, and I have I'm five five on a good day, and I have some a little bit of a, a booty and some hips, like a lot of women do, you know. But you know, <laughs> one of the things that really fits me well, and I'll discuss in a little bit, is the uh, the Shredley Curvies. They fit me really well. I find that they're very true to size. But uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit on the heavier side right now, and you know, that's what's. I'm going to talk about what fits me. What about you, Becca? So I'm five seven, and um, I have a very kind of curvy hourglass shape to my body. Um, a little bit larger up here, uh, more narrow in the waist. And I definitely have some Scandinavian thighs and booty. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for battle. <laughs> I'm ready. ready. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a challenge for me because anything that is any variation of a mid to low rise does not work on my body type. Um, I need something that is going to, that I don't have to worry about that clothing gap on my back and yeah, yeah. it's got to kind of come above the hips, not at the hips. So that's been yeah. my big challenge is, um, finding that kind of shoop fit. Yeah. Yeah. No, I understand. I have, I have a little, some curves. I mean, you can't really see it because I'm a little heavy right now, but you know, Hey, but I hey get no, it. there. No, it's, yeah. it's always getting something that fits like the stomach area and the hip area in women that mm -hmm. I find to be mm -hmm. the most troubled issues, regardless of body type. Right. Like it's mm -hmm. always that same thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're doing more downhill this season. I think you're right. a kick ass 
downhill rider. You're a kick-ass rider. Thanks. Thanks. So what would be... Well, so are you. (laughs) (laughs) So what would be your go-to pants? You rode yesterday. Like, what were your go-to pants? I did. So after a lot of trial and error, um, like you were saying earlier, like we're not sponsored, like as much as I would love to be sent free products. um, (laughs) This is is just me as a consumer of figuring out what's worked for me. And uh, my go-to this season has been the Revel Rider Flow 2.0 pants. Um, I wore those yesterday. Definitely my favorite so far. Um, Nice. It's, it's not that I've tried everything that's out there, but what I have gone through so far up to this point, um, they have met my requirements of what I'm looking for for durability because I am not a um, dainty rider. I have <laughs> lots of experiences with the ground, um, unanticipated experiences with the ground. And hey, I need <laughs> nothing wrong with that. There's nothing no. wrong with that. It's how you learn. It's how you learn. And the, the, you know, statistically speaking, the longer you're going to be on a bike, the more likely it is you're going to be a crash. You're going to crash. True. So, that's true. you know, um, I need something that's going to be durable. I need something that's going to be flexible. Um, and I want something that is going to fit my body type. And I have found that Rebel Rider for me has met those expectations. Um, I really like the way that they fit up over my hips and onto mm-hmm. my waist. Yeah. They have a really nice high rise fit to them. So yeah. no matter what, my Jersey or shirt or whatever I'm wearing, um, no matter what that's doing, they're staying, they're staying up. Um, I never have to worry about like lower back, you know, that, that exposure. Um, been very pleased with those so far, but I know you've had kind of a different experience with them so far because you tried their shorts. I don't have the pants. I really want to get one of their pants because they have them in in bigger sizes, but I do, Mm -hmm. I did recently get a pair of their shorts. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name. I think it was the floor shorts you were telling me, right? I think everything that they have is the same. Oh, it's, it's the, the same. Ride short. Huh? They're called ride shorts. Ride oh, maybe they're shorts. different. I thought they were, I thought they did like a flow in a pant version and a shorts, but I could be wrong. I don't no, know. they do. They do do that. <laughs> I'm looking at their website right now and we'll, I'll try and post photos of all this so you guys can listening can see what we're talking about and link in the mm-hmm. description as well. And I'm also going to post this on our website so you'll be able to see what Becca and I are talking about. Um, but I did get their shorts. The larger size that they had was an extra large, which is which is fine. It's still a pretty decent big pair of shorts, but didn't fit over my hips just yet. So um, I'm kind of bummed. And I have think an I think they're moving to expanded sizing. I'm not they positive on that. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that's great. So that's good that they they've are, been yeah. responsive to what their what their market is looking for for sure. Yeah, their customer service was great. So I contacted them when I was kind of annoyed that they didn't fit, and um, mm-hmm. they were really good to respond, and they're they're really um, awesome. The lady said that um, they're expanding their line, they're getting bigger sizes, and they nice. didn't have. Um, so like for the floor pants, right. I wanted to just buy the pants and they didn't have what the two X would be in terms of like size. And I know those sizing charts are, they're a guy really because everyone is different. Right. But they didn't have it. So, however, I am going to keep the shorts because the material is really, really good. It's tough. Mm -hmm. It's thick. And I know they'll fit me in the next couple months anyway. So I'm just going to keep them. And then it'll give me a bearing to see what the pants would be. Maybe I could just get an XL in the pants instead of 2X, you know? And I think the shorts are on the longer side, knee-wise, That's right. like in terms of that length, which is always really nice because when I do find myself wanting to wear shorts, I want something that is going to be long enough that I don't have that dreaded thigh gap when I'm yeah. like either sitting on the lift or, you know, that gap between my shorts and my pads. Yeah. Um, so I think I, I, I don't own the shorts, but I think they've, um, made a longer length and the material is nice. It's very, yeah. so far it's been durable. It does have some, um, venting or some breathability kind of in the thighs as well. And the pockets, yeah. oh, the pockets, I got to talk yes. about the pockets. pockets, pockets, women. We're always <laughs> wanting pockets, right? Like we're, we've been like, we've been shunned our whole lives yep. with like not having the right pockets and just the, the fake little pockets on stuff. I love the Revel Rider pockets. They've got two on the pants. They've got two really nice ones on the front, like the thigh. Yep. And then they have a nice one on the back. So right along the back waistband, there's a decent size pocket. And it's big enough that I can oh, yeah. put my phone in the back of it. Nice. Um, because I have made the mistake of keeping my phone in my side pocket. And oh, yeah. I crush- I crushed it. 
Oh, so yeah. yeah, yeah, I crushed it. I completely That's crushed it. Color. It was like a curved, completely smashed, ruined. Do you have a photo yeah. of that? If you do, we should. Put I do. That out. Yes, <laughs> I will send that. it to you. I will send it to you because it literally had a curve in it, and I took it out of my pocket, and I was like, oh. So I've learned: do not keep your phones in your side pockets. Um, it fit really, really it, it, surprisingly. And this is a um, iPhone. I don't know, twelve Pro Max, whatever the biggest is, whatever the biggest is. Yeah. Um, and if it's, There's, if it's in that back spot, that's good. There's so many, so you can put, there. you can put, you know, your park pass back there or you can put yeah. a phone or whatever. So I'm not adding other stuff, like another hip pack and stuff, but pockets very good. Or even like a snack. I'm a big proponent Ooh, of snacks. Those, like shoes. I love those shoes. So that would be shorts, a good snack spot. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so for the shorts, I'm looking at them right now. They don't have a big pocket in the waist, but they do have a pocket like in the butt area like the butt cheek oh area. nice okay and okay. they're pretty deep too so that's that's really good nice um, but yeah i'm looking forward to maybe those fitting me when i go to sedona in a couple months <laughs> 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 um what was the other thing i want to talk about with verbal writer i think that was it yeah they have mid-rise pants uh sorry the shorts and the pants are at mid-rise they come pretty oh here's the other thing does um do you have any discomfort when you put your padding into like knee pads and stuff to the pants feel pretty no, good. No, no, they it's feel fit. really nice. I haven't had any issue with pads under those pants. Um, you know, like I said, I do have kind of bigger thighs. Um, so I wind up having kind of like extra room in the waist and then a little yeah. bit like fitting either appropriate or a little bit snugger in the thighs. But then even with pretty, pretty heavy pads, I have the POC um, VPD like the yeah. thicker, heavier duty pads yeah. that I wear for knee pads and elbow pads. And they fit great. They fit great in the pants. I don't have any trouble getting those, those uh, pants on with that. And they have a zipper on the side of the ankle too. So um, it's a nice taper that goes down yeah. to the foot. So you don't ever have to worry about that like ankle gap. Um, yeah. And you could, I guess, roll them if you need to. I'm five seven, so I don't roll them, but um, yeah. Maybe if you're short like me. Too. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Come back Stand by. Know. Stand by. <laughs> um, awesome. So those are the Rebel Riders. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Another brand that I wear is Shredleys. Mm -hmm. So um, have you worn Shredleys before? I'm not sure if you I have Shredleys. not. No, I okay. don't. Because when I was initially looking into them, I didn't think they were going to meet the durability need that I had for them. The prints, the colors the different variations that they have yeah, and the, yeah. the curvy fit or the more standard fit, the different lengths of inseam all looked awesome, but I didn't yeah. think they were going to meet my durability standard. But I know you have an experience kind of with that. Yeah. Too. So that's interesting. Cause I didn't think of that. I love their, I, I'm a fan of big bright stuff. So I have mm -hmm. a couple of their stuff. That's really bright. Like their dinosaur print is my favorite short. Their and prints are these, awesome. Yeah. They're so cool. They and are. One of the things I love is that they have the curvy line. So for me, it fits mm -hmm. pretty well. It has like a stretchy, like yoga type material. Oh, place, that's nice. That's which nice. Which is really comfortable. Super I've comfortable. never tried any pants or shorts like that before, but that would oh be really nice for like an it's all day so ride, like in the heat or like, you yep. know, like that, that sounds like a really, really nice, like marketing yeah. idea. And that's what I like. Even if you're thin, you don't have to be curvy. I know other women mm -hmm. who are not, who are more, uh, Thin, like no tummy like me, <laughs> you know, still wear it because it's comfortable. So um, one of the things that I will say is that I did a chunky ride with one of my pants about a year or so, and they ripped pretty easily. So I and these, these, were the these were the shredly, these were the shredly ones, the shredly pants. I think okay. they're called the cascade pants. So I was a little okay. bummed, but yeah. Um, again, how bad was the terrain that you fell onto? Like how? How how aggressive I mean, would you call it? Or like not very aggressive. There was some rock you'd and pro sand. call it like pretty like like just trail like good just yeah trail ride kind of ex okay. Yep. I literally slipped on kitty litter. No. Oh. Like, <laughs> my bike just just like I was so excited that I cleared this section that I had taken a really, oh. really bad fall on the okay. Year before. Okay. okay. And I'm like, I did it. And so as I went to turn, I was just so excited that I, you know, whatever. Gotcha. So kind of like a washout. Okay. And it was the first time I wore the pants and they kind of, Aww. even the side pocket, because they have some amazing pockets too. They have pockets 
um, deep pockets in the front and then a pocket oh, on the nice. right side of your thigh. That's really deep. Yeah. And, yeah. um, that pocket just ripped on the inside after I fell. Oh, so the pocket but, ripped. You know, the pocket ripped, but oh, that's um, a bummer. customer service was great. I got a hold of the ladies. They, um, they sent me a new pair. I sent back the, they gave me a few options and I chose the option of just getting another pair. I sent mm -hmm. them back what I had. Um, and it was great. And then I ended up getting a pair of their shorts for this season. And I fell in a cactus in Sedona. I think you fell in a cactus. Knows. You fell. Well, what if knows. we don't, what if we don't know? I want to know how'd you fall in a cactus <laughs> in Sedona? <laughs> This is market this research. We need to know this. <laughs> this weekend, when I, when I texted you and I have like, it's, I think it's nothing. It was just little kid scratches. I was like, dude, I took a fall. I'm okay. <laughs> you know, nothing, nothing, it's nothing not yet. a cactus. <laughs> no, it was not a cactus. And that's what my dad said. And then my dad followed up with, uh, um, don't worry, you're young. You'll still learn to ride your bike someday. And I was like, ooh, that's a good one. That's a good burn. Yeah, burn. yeah. That's another, um, there's a follow-up podcast on that type of, yeah, we can, we, we do more should. on that type of commentary. We, yeah. 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 And there's that's more there. Probably one we could do live with some people yeah. commenting and asking Absolutely. Questions. So, Absolutely. Yeah, that'd be a fun one to do live. Um, so anyway, I, they, they didn't shred when I fell on the cactus. It was just like a little tear. It was fine. And then I took a, a spill yet again, trying to unclip my, my cleats. I'm trying to do clipless again. And um, I fell into some bushes and <laughs> completely ripped, like through the through the shorts. Oh totally man! Shorts. And yeah. I, I, it wasn't even rough. I literally just went like, it was like just you like, tipped into the bush. <laughs> I just tipped into the bush, and but there was a couple <gasps> sticks sticking up, and it just so I was really bummed. But again, Shredley customer service is great. They sent me patches. Uh, my neighbor across the street actually sews really really well. She she's sewing them for me today or tomorrow. Um, I do not have the ability to do that. I, my, my pants would look like Frankenstein. There's no way. <laughs> I don't have a domestic side me to either. me like that at all. <laughs> me either. Very disappointing. My Brazilian mother does not like this. Not, not she doesn't <laughs> like it. Like she cooks extremely well. All the women in my family do. I'm not a big, like, I don't like to cook yeah. that much. Yeah. Anyway. So Shredley pants, they're, they're good, but I wouldn't recommend them if you were going to do like an enduro ride or an all day at the bike park where okay. you could potentially like take a fall and maybe you're going to rip your pants. There's always, I yeah. mean, ripping your pants is a given, but with these, the material is so light and thin, um, which is great for lighter rides that I wouldn't take it downhill enduro bike park. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's good to know. That's important because falls yeah. are inevitable, you know? So that's, that's important to know, like what, what, yeah. what you can anticipate. Definitely. Yeah. So what's another one that you have? What's another pair of shorts and or pants? So I have, um, another one that is high up on my endorsement list is, um, wild rye. So Ooh. there are, so Ravel Rider and Wild Rye are women's women owned companies. Um, and Shredley they have, too. oh, awesome. Yeah. And, um, I think cosmic dirt is as well. We can talk yeah. about them in a little bit, but yeah. so yeah. really, really love seeing that we're, we're finding products made for women that are created by women. The company is run yeah. by women. Um, so I think that's a really awesome thing to see. Um, yeah. so they are fairly, I think they're, they're newer, um, in making mountain bike pants and I love them. They're called the Freya is the model, Ooh. the Freya, the Freya pant. Okay. Um, and like anything, I feel like with this end of quality, they are on the pricey side. So I think the Revel Rider was around 180. I think Wild Rye was around the same. I think the okay. latest, the latest pants that they just came out with for the fall are in, are like 200. Um, yeah. But I really like them. Those are really great fit, really great uh, styling. They mm -hmm. have um, really cool designs on them. So they have like a design on like the yoke of the pant in the back. And then yep. the cuff along the ankle has yep. a really nice design to them. Um, the fit is great. The stretch is great. I think they're even higher waisted than the Revel Rider. Mm -hmm. um, they're not as thick. So they're definitely not okay. as durable. Um, for like a downhill park. I do wear them. Mm -hmm. I have worn them. Right. I 
that's the, those are the pants that I broke my phone in. So they have very deep, <laughs> I have to categorize things by falls. Like which, what pants was I wearing during which incident? Whatever. Because all, whatever. I mean, I will say that like all, except for one pair of shorts, everything I've worn during a unintended, un unanticipated, unanticipated Becca to the ground exposure, all of them have held up except for one pair of shorts. So um, while I held up, I landed on my hip. I fell onto a rock, landed on my phone. The phone broke. The pants stayed intact. So um, I do have a friend, though, that her pair has ripped. And I don't – she's not sure if they ripped due to a fall or if it was just like a wear and tear. But this is – we haven't worn them for – I don't even know. It's got to be less than five rides um, that right, she's worn right. them before she encountered a tear. Um, right. So they're not as thick. They're not as durable for, you know, intense kind of aggressive downhill. But I do plan on wearing them on my trails. Um, my pads fit okay. great under them. I have no problem with that. And they have just like a nicer styling to them. Like you can tell they're just, like they have like a brass colored buttons the way that the cuffs, they have like a Velcro on the cuff. So they, you can flip them Ooh. up and wear them cuffed intentionally. Oh, so it has um, like the same material underneath you if you flip it? Yes, or? yes. Nice. So if That's you ro cool. if you like want to kind of like roll it, like cuff it, yeah. I don't I yeah. don't need to because I'm 5'7", but I know my friend does. Uh, my friend Eva yeah. does. She's a little bit on the shorter side. They don't have that great back waist pocket, but that's not a common thing either. Um, yeah. But I love that. So yeah, I really like those. That's another one that I'm a okay. big fan of. They do make shorts and they make shorts. Um, I think they make shorts in two different lengths and different kind of intended usage as well. Like they make a Freya pants and yeah. a Freya shorts. And then they yep. make a couple other, I think another line for shorts as well. Um, yeah. They make some winter products as well. Some like layering winter stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. big fan yeah, of their stuff I'm too. I need to try one of their pants too, but I think my next purchase will probably be the Revel Riders or the the Darko. Is that how you pronounce oh, it? Oh, the Darkos. Darko. I, mean, I think it's Darko. That's, that's how I've been saying it. Segue into the Darkos that I want. You're the Aussie. You're the Aussie. Beautiful. You're going to have to know. <laughs> I mean, I was doing some research on them a little while ago, and they are from the northern beaches of Sydney, I believe, which is where my brother lives. So I want to be like, dude, can you like just go to their headquarters and like get me some paint? Be like, hey, my sister Ryan. Befriend, hey. <laughs> befriend them. Befriend um, them. I'm trying to look up. I'm trying to look at their website right now, but I'll do that in a little bit. Hey, they they have a podcast too, so we should probably check that out. Um, oh, okay. So, do you wear those darko pants? So you what have I had, I have a pair, but what I had read before I bought them when I was reading reviews, sizing, right? Sizing is always trying to figure yeah. out what, what size am I getting? I hate sending stuff back. I hate sending things back. If they don't fit, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. It's like the biggest, most dramatic thing for me. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous on my yeah. end because it's not, it shouldn't be a big deal, but it is for me. So I really try to look into what the sizing was going to be. And for mm -hmm. Revel Rider, they run, you know, like small, medium, large, but now they're expanding their sizing. For Wild Rye, they do numeric sizing. So anywhere from like double zero to I think 14 right now. I'm not sure if they go beyond yeah. that. Shrevely um, does the same thing. They do numeric sizing as well. Yeah. Is, so me, it's, I, it's a hit or miss for me to know because I feel like I'm a size 10 and one and a size eight and a size 12 and something else, but right. I've been pretty accurate so far with the sizing of Rebel Rider and Wild Rye. Darko, I had read both from the men's reviews and the women's reviews that they run small. So oh. I ordered, I ordered up and they did not give me the fit that I wanted. So they only make sizing for women from, I think, extra small to extra large yeah. And I think reading on their sizing, the extra large of the waist is, it's like, I think 34, which is, which is kind well, of on the, the small end, you know, that, like, that's not going to fit. Like, psh, there's no way like, that's an extra That's large. kind what? of, right, right. So that's kind of on the small end. So I want to order the pink one, the new ones, the new Valdisol line, which you and I have been like 
like yeah. Googling, like, you know, like Google yeah. eyes over, like, it's like, we want those. We've been talking about them so much. They're coming up as like an advertisement. They're ads. Like Every day. Like, <laughs> where do you buy these? Our algorithm is like, just buy them. Here yeah. they are. Take them. You're stop right talking about them. Buy them. Yeah, stop talking about them. <laughs> Extra large. They're saying, I think this is the women's size, women's fit guide. The mm -hmm. extra large, the waist in inches is 18.5. Right. How's so that? like that, they just measure on the one, whereas it's not like the circumference. So 18.5, what's 18.5 times two? Don't make me do math in my head. Inch, it's 47 centimeters, uh, 18.5 inches. No, remember, I told you about this when we tried part one of this. You can only talk in <laughs> imperial units. It's it's hamburgers hamburgers per, per bald eagle. Okay, That's it in so America. Do you, to, do you want to say inches or centimeters? Inches. Um, <laughs> inches because that's the imperial. So it's 18 and a half inches for the extra large. Okay, so that is You're doing math over there. You're like totally Oh, oh that's 37. So am I wrong? 18.5 so I don't know because, okay, so, okay. So that's saying 37 in the waist. So I could be, maybe I'm wrong, but I was definitely wrong on what I thought I'd read. But what I had read in those reviews on that website was that people were sizing up. So okay, I had okay. meant to look at a pair. My friend Eva brought some to the park yesterday. Completely forgot. Never saw them. <laughs> she packed them for me to look at. And because the ones that I have, like, yeah. So I've been wanting to, to take another check, uh, look at those. But I... I have a lot of people that do swear by them. A lot of like significant lady shredders that love them, love the fit, love yeah. the pants. So yeah. completely worth a shot. I think material wise, they are on the heavier end. They are in the thicker end. Um, I mean, they sponsor a lot of elite downhill racers. So they have to yeah. make products that are going to hold up for that. Um, yeah. So definitely something I want to try. And they make shorts too. Um, jerseys, they do all make sorts shorts. Of stuff. Yeah, there's nowhere their pants are going to fit me right now. Maybe next time, next year. But so I'll definitely <laughs> probably get a pair of Rebel Riders before I get a pair of Darkos. Hopefully they'll still have that sick pink color. I know. I will live vicariously through you. You get them and then I'm going to get them. Through you. I'm going to get them. I'm a pretty typical size large in most brands. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try those. I'm going to try those. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Well, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Um. Other stuff that I've written, I don't know if you have, is Fox, the women's mm -hmm. line. I believe it's called Ripley is the women's line. I have two of their shorts um, in the- I have never of heard of this. I'm going to look okay. at Grip Gripley? No, Ripley. Ripley. Like um, that 90s Got movie it. with the aliens. Yeah. Um, Fox oh, Ripley. It's called Aliens, Mia. Oh, I'm so yeah. silly. The one with the um, lady. The the only, I think, okay, so they were a model. So they were like, so Fox has different, like they have Flex Air, they have Ranger, they have Defend. That's right. They don't make the Ripley anymore. Okay. But it looks like it was a line. At some, I'm reading like a review of them from like 2017. Yeah. So it looks so like. That's what it was. They're not, they don't make them anymore, but they did, they were a line at some point along yeah. that, you know, it was a women specific line that they made. Line. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. that's good to know. Um, yeah. This material is thin like the Shredley, but it's not stretchy like the Shredley. I've never taken mm -hmm. a tumble, excuse me, in them because they don't fit me right now. So I haven't worn them since I started doing more like downhill stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully in the next year, I'll be able to test these out. But I did wear another pair of Fox. This might be another line too. Um, what are the, this one's called Lynx, like the cat. Like, like you're a Lynx, um, like you're a. Yeah. You got to love how these men come up with these women. I'm assuming it's men that come up with this stuff, right? Lynx. Fox Lynx. Um, yeah, but oh, those are they're cute. pink and purple and they're absolutely horrible looking, but they were on sale for $10, so I could not pass them up. And well, Maybe that's why they don't I... make them anymore. <laughs> And no. I, they fit me really well. They are really That's good, though. That's good. Okay. I have taken a fall in these. They have not ripped. Like a pretty, okay. pretty bad fall. Okay. Um, although I think I Fox does have very good durability. Part. You yeah, did go Fox OTB? Does have good, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's, 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 that's that, that holds up then. Another day. 
Okay. That was like my first gnarly mountain bike crash where I thought I broke my collarbone. Yeah. So that's the story for another day. I'm fine. Um, but yeah, so the Fox were good. I don't have Fox pants that we mm-hmm. could talk about, but yes. do you? I do. So okay. I have a pair of um, the Fox Women's Defend pants, which are okay. not cheap. Um, okay. I don't. I don't know what they're selling for right now, but I just have them in black and I have them in teal. Um, I bought the teal last year, and I have the black for this year. They are exceptionally durable. Exceptionally durable. Um, the best durability of any fabric to ride in downhill. 100%. Really? Of anything that I've of anything that I have encountered so far, they have the best durability. Oh. However, okay. however, Ooh, here we go. They have zero stretch. Zero. Zero. Oh. Zero stretch. So they're more rigid and type pants. Yes, which is I mean, if you're racing downhill in theory, you're you're staying more more immobile, I guess. Right. Um I need something with flexibility. Um, so I, even though they fit me, like they fit when I'm standing, I'm standing, I, I, they fit. But as soon as I am in any sort of like aggressive position on the bike, yeah. they're, they're, they're too, they're too low in the hips. Ooh. I have no give. I feel like the length from like the waist to like the crotch is like short. I don't yeah. know. It's just, uh, I don't feel like yeah. I have a lot of room and, um, yeah, no flex, no flex at all. So I actually wear those yeah. the least. They're very hot, very hot. Um, so they're not, I, so the material is thick and durable. Is it's very mean? durable. I don't even, okay. I, it's not even that it's like, like a heavy weight. It's not even that it's like a heavy weight to it. It's just very, very durable. Um, okay. with very little breathability. And then, I mean, that's the trade-off either. You want something like very, yeah. very durable or like the thinner you get for more breathability, or you start adding flex into it. Anytime yep. you're adding spandex is probably compromising the integrity of the fabric, whatever. So yeah. I definitely have taken some good spills in those. Um, they held up great. But when I ride in them, I don't – I feel very, like, constricted. Very, very constricted. Yeah. And I have felt much more comfortable in the Revel Riders, the Wild Rise, just in terms of, like, how good I feel on the bike. Um, yeah. And so far, all of the crashes that I've had wearing any of those brands – I haven't noticed anything that has minimized like my level of like injury. Like nothing has mm-hmm. like, oh, I got really, really, you know, bruised on this versus this one. I bruised yeah. real, really, really bad. Like really, yeah. really bad. So yeah. um, I'm always kind of finding, I'm wondering like, where did I get that one from? Where did that happen? Where did it? So yeah. I haven't found a correlation, um, but it's just something else to think of. I don't know. They fit, they definitely yeah. fit lower on my hips, lower on my waist. Um, not as crazy about them. Yeah. And I wonder, and I don't want to make assumptions. I think making assumptions is a dangerous thing. However, I'm going to preface by saying that. <laughs> However, However, perhaps they were not designed by a woman. Or if they were, mm-hmm. it's for a woman. How people automatically assume all women are, you know, a size two to a four and right are right super skinny and you know right. different type of athleticism because i'm a very athletic person and i'm not the thinnest person in the world so you're right. very athletic and your body type is different too so you know right i have a feeling that perhaps it was designed by someone who wasn't and taking into account the amount of different body types we have and the amount of women who ride which is why it's great to have these different companies like Revel Rider and Shredley and Wild Rye. And they're all women owned. They have the woman's perspective from on there. They're trying to be very inclusive. And I think they're doing a great job, all of them. But the one I'm really excited about is, is Cosmic Dirt. I know that yeah. they're kind of new on the scene in the last year or so, I want to say, maybe year and a half. I have to check yeah. out their website. But I know earlier this year they were doing a crowdfunding effort. Is it crowd? I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. Kickstarter, or whatever. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was like a Kickstarter thing where they were doing pants, and I'm super stoked because they're going to have all different sizes. And yeah, I missed the cutoff to get some, so I'm just anxiously waiting oh, to see where they're going to be. Yeah, what, yeah. What are your thoughts on that? I'm excited to see what they come up with. I've really liked. Um, 
just their kind of like their business model so far. Um, a lot of inclusivity, which is really great to see from all of these brands. Yeah. Um, and, and they are listening to the feedback because there are women out there riding that haven't been represented. And right. I do think that's been the case for a lot of these brands like Fox is that maybe it was like, okay, we should probably expand our line to include more women riders. Seeing yeah. such a massive insurgence, um, the growth, I think, of women yeah. being involved in the sport and um, being promoted in the sport. We've been involved in the sport, but now it's being kind of covered more and it's being seen more. Right. So right. having the brands kind of represent that as well, like this is the first year that Troy Lee came out with women specific pants. Oh, that's right. You were saying so that earlier. So they, yeah. they, have, they have always kind of made jerseys and stuff like that with more of a women's tailored fit, but this is their first time that they came out with pants and shorts for women, which I have not tried yet. I haven't worn them. Um, so it's, it's good to see that, but I do think that was yeah. the case with Fox because they fit, they did, they did have more of a, of a men's fit to them of that kind mm -hmm. of like no waist, no hip, kind of straighter down. I know some of the athletes that, you know, the elite riders that ride for them, um, Tani Seagraves, she's amazing. She's such a badass rider, but she does. She's got a very thin yeah. kind of petite frame. And yeah. some of the women that I know that do wear Fox, they kind of fit in that body type too. So do I know a lot of women mm -hmm. that love it? Absolutely. I just don't know if they're going to fit as much of that inclusivity range. I think Cosmic Dirt right. is doing a really good job of learning their customer base first and then designing yeah. the product around what they want for sizing. Um, if I had to guess, it's going to be more trail specific. So a little bit kind of along the lines of like a Shredley um, in terms of what kind of products, what type of trail experience you're looking for. But yeah. um, I mean, it's, I don't know that with any certainty whatsoever. That's just me kind of guessing a little, but I could yeah. be completely wrong. I could be completely wrong on that too. You could be, but you could be right, but we don't know. We're I'm excited to see it either way. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Same. I hope they're going to be at Rome. I know Rome Fruta is happening this weekend in Colorado, but I'm oh, nice. in Arizona in November. So I think um, I might see if I could meet with them and ask questions, like see what we can That would be great. Do. Hopefully, I would love it if they had like a sample of their pants. How cool would that be? Oh, but, that would be so cool. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm just excited. Well, that that's such a cool thing that you get out. a lot of, you get to see a lot of on the West Coast because these brands are all pretty much West coast based out here. It's just kind of like, let me have some East coast. Come on. Let me, have, <laughs> let me try. <laughs> Come talk to me. Well, I mean, is there, I need to look up where Rome goes every year. Um, because I've always been, I've so heard about it. I've, I've heard about, that. I've heard about that fest though. Um, I think I was talking to, so when I was at snowshoe, and I was at the uh, the hand up tent, and we were. T I was talking about how I'm looking for you know the women specific events and and how important that yeah. is to me. And I think yeah. one of the women there was talk. It might have been Rome. She's like, you got to go to Rome, if I'm remembering the right one, um, because there's there's definitely some awesome ones out there. I know that there's some big ones that happen in Bentonville. I'd love to be able to get to that. Um, yeah, but. That's something yeah. we'll definitely share more when we learn about it too. Yeah. And I, I'm looking at their website. They have three big festivals and it's in Knoxville, uh, Fruta, Colorado. And it's okay. And um, okay. we got to go to one. If you need to come to Sedona, please come to I Sedona. I know. I will. I have an Airbnb that's like three bedrooms. It's big. I need, I just, I need, who's going to take my bike? <laughs> I got to take my bike out there. I know I need, once I get some, I need some monies, but yes, I, that will happen. It will happen. Let's plan for it next year. Maybe next year we'll be, enough. Yeah. I, you know, we could even plan on going to the sea otter classic. That's over here in Monterey oh, Bay. I think you would that love would be, that one too. I would love that. I would love that. Yeah. Love that. that one might That'd be, be great. Fun. We should talk about that one. Okay. okay. Uh, what else? <laughs> so are there any other, um, pants or advice you would give to women? You know, in the end, I think it's important to know what is going to be your intended use for what you're looking for, shorts or pants. Because after I spent a day riding at Thunder Mountain, Downhill Park, great place, um, stay the night at my friend's house. The next day, her friend, her fiance were like, hey, let's go ride some of the local trails. And I was like, okay, this yeah. is great. I'm going to ride in New York. Yeah. And um, 
I said, but all I realized all I had with me was my Fox Defend downhill pants, which are like yep. I was saying, the heaviest, the thickest, um, no, no give. And we wore hoodies, which is another terrible mistake. And, um, wow. you know, it was, it was hot and, um, miserable. I, there was, there was no flex. There was no give. It was constantly, don't worry. There's one more hill. There's just uh, one more hill. And there was not just one more hill. Teresa, you're a liar. <laughs> so <laughs> great for downhill. If you don't want the flex wearing them pedaling, um, absolutely not. So yeah. 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 Well, that's good to know. That's really good advice. You're absolutely right. Where you need to know where you're riding, what you're doing, and and comfort is huge. Yeah. So, yep. I always my go-to for trails around here where I live. It's mainly cross country. Is always the Shredleys, uh, mm -hmm. regardless of the fact that I ripped them when I was on the trail out here. But that's on me. That's my fault. I am not wearing <laughs> shoes anymore. And my friend Danielle, who's probably I hope going to listen to this, she's going to give me a hard time because she always sends me videos of people crashing with clipped shoes on, and she says this is why you don't ride clips. Because like I the love wearing going one way. We'll we'll talk <laughs> about that. You know, I I wear I I ride clipless clipped whatever when your feet are connected to the pedal everything's yeah, always i don't understand yeah. why it's clipless it's, it's with the old cages and how it was anyway but so yeah. yeah and and um i wear that on the trails but not not at the parks but it makes me a better rider when i'm on the trails for sure yeah and i'm not adverse to it i sometimes i get nervous and i i wear i have two-sided pedals which again we could talk yep. about another time yeah and the flat side is actually really awesome because when i'm wearing cleat shoes they don't slip when I'm in the flat section. And mm -hmm. so I, but it's also that false sense of security that I, anyway, whatever. I've made the yeah. executive decision. I've put my stamp <laughs> back on my, on my, um, back on my bike. I need, just need to get new shoes because my flat shoes are just done for. Um, I'll probably get some in the next month or so. But um, I think we did a really good job at least talking about some of the things that we have experienced, which is the whole goal of us here yeah. at the Women's MTV Network yeah. is for us to talk about it, whether it's clothes, gear, bikes, it's from our perspective. Um, and I loved having you talking with me, Becca, and we're going to see this more often. We're I love do it. Podcast. And you reached out to some really killer women who ride. Yes. And we will be able to do a podcast with them as well coming up soon. We've got to talk about that a little bit more. Um, yeah. So if anyone has any questions, I'm going to leave our Instagrams in the description. I'm going to talk about that. And then, um, we can, if anyone has any questions, just contact us and we'll go from there. Well, <laughs> I hope you guys stayed with us till the end. And, um, we're going to have more information on all the, uh, shorts and pants we talked about on the website and then the description because this is going to go on YouTube as well and I will post the link to Apple Podcasts and Spotify to that as well so if anyone is interested they can go directly to what we talked about and Becca and I will also do our own little take I mean I'm going to write a little description on what they are we'll put it mm -hmm. on the website sizing what we recommend from our personal experience what we ride, what would be great to ride. And again, this is only from our personal experience. We are not paid to do any of this. Um, the whole goal of us here at the Women's MTV Network is that it's from a woman's perspective. So if anyone and wants I hear, to hear I would love to hear what other people think, you know, exactly, people that are listening to this, that agree, disagree. Exactly. This is just our experience. And I know there's, yep. there's so many more voices out there that have feedback on yes. this that I'd love to hear about too. hundred percent. And so you can contact us. You can email us. All the information mm -hmm. will be in the descriptions below. You can contact Becca on her Instagram or me. You can email us. If you want to be a part of the next podcast or you want to share your experience, mm -hmm. whether it's clothing, gear, anything, contact us. And we'll happily have you either do a blog post if you don't want to do a podcast or you can send us a video and we'll link it. Anything. Mm -hmm. Anything is welcome. The more resources we have for women yes. in the community the better we are going to help everyone in the community. Yeah, so, that's what we want. Thank you, Becca. I know it's kind of late for you. Thank you. Post, thank you, but, Mia. Um, we will have this posted soon and we'll touch back in uh, hopefully in a week or so with another podcast. We'll see you guys awesome. later. Have a good night. Bye, Becca. See ya.